AC versus DC coupling. The terms AC coupling and DC coupling are commonly used to refer to the connection between a PV output and a battery input. For example, the electrical current running through that connection could be DC or it could be converted at some point to AC, depending on which of these is happening defines whether it's AC versus DC coupling. For example, this PV array is outputting DC power. If it goes to a battery, perhaps through a solar charger, there is no conversion to AC, and this is an example of DC coupling. But if the output of the, of the PV array gets inverted, then rectified, that change momentarily to AC indicates this is really AC coupled connection. Let's look at both couplings side by side. Here we have a PV array connected to a PV inverter. We have DC and AC components. On the right side, we have the same PV array, but connected to a hybrid inverter. Again, we have DC and AC components. Back to the left side, a battery is connected but it cannot be connected straight to the PV inverter. It must go through a battery inverter, and therefore the connection between the PV and battery is through an AC bus bar. On the right side, the battery is connected to a hybrid inverter, which has a DC bus bar, and therefore there is no conversion to AC between the PV array and the battery. The left side is an example of AC coupling. The right side is an example of DC coupling. Here is a diagram for AC coupling. We can see that there are two parts to the system. On the left, a hybrid inverter connected with a battery, and on the right, a PV inverter connected through an AC connection, that is a backup panel in this case, acting as the point of AC coupling. So in this microgrid, we are seeing AC coupling between the hybrid inverter and the solar inverter. Here is an example of DC coupling. In this case, the solar input and the battery connection are through the central hybrid inverter acting as the point of DC coupling, and therefore this is a DC coupled system.